everybody again this is Sirene MK1 level 1 as you can see and I will upgrade her to level 9 so still MK1 but level 9 why because with level 9 you can use all three passive modules and of course one active module it will be interesting to see the difference in a battle between level 1 and level 9 robots and you can check my video with le I believe the MK1 level 1 uh, a robot hangar and now I will try MK1 level 9 it should be difference because now even the drones will not be useless like with le level 1 you can now actually see how many, how much uh, silver and gold is required for upgrading from level 1 to level 9 so 3619 gold and 30.5 million silver let's go and jump into the game and see is it worth to spend that much gold and silver although I think it's not too much if the difference in the battle will be evident course if everything is the same like in previous but from the beginning I can see the Sarin is not that is not that slow like uh, with level one and I hope it will be tougher and it should be tougher since I can use all these uh, it's good to note that I don't use pilot at all so no pilot skills I think the most most gold is required for pilot skills who knows how many we should check one time probably like 30 40,000 I must say this level mk1 level 9 looks very good double kill double kill and this siren has quantum ra ra rather not repair units i need to be i need to be careful there is one hawk i'm not sure what he's doing upstairs but I think he will not do anything more that's it for that hack and oh rampage but another siren is here can I survive this yes if I am close to wall and my abilities here but I don't have hell no so just one percent of HP left me so unfortunately I died but now full power finally I can use 70% more damage because in my big drone I have that two chips and and every chip has 35% more damage if you click that repair unit and I'm I'm doing it right now and kill kill still I think seven seconds you have and double kill seven you have seven seconds for that full power and I must say if you are asking me for a first impression in this few minutes of battle with this MK1 level 9 robots I must say I totally lost the feeling that this is actually MK1 robot in Champions League it's completely I have completely feeling that this is MK3 maybe because <laughs> no one is 
shooting at me but this is a good feel it's a fun and not like with that level one that level one that was more uh, like oh triple kill that was more like uh, struggling it wasn't fun at all too slow if somebody just hit you one you are practically over this is a completely different story trust me i'm not even sure if you if you have this hunger with siren and harpy that this is a both meta robots i think you don't even need to spend so much silver and gold to upgrade the robot to mk3 level one this can be this can be uh, enough for give a good good fight and for fun and that's more important i think that's the most important to have fun when you are playing and i must say this is a fun okay it would be more fun that this Ao Ming didn't blind me with this new Dazzler, Dazzler and Lantern weapons but still now I will blind but still it's fun and now I will do the same thing to Luchador but oh oh I needed just few more seconds that the reflector saved him 10 kills 3.6 million damage i think against the champions mk1 robot okay yes mk3 weapons but this can be proof that it is better first to upgrade weapons then robot is not even necessary to upgrade full just le till 11 9 so that you can use modules and maybe that was a coincidence so we will check one more fight and in this fight <laughs> i can already tell you that it will not be zero oh <laughs> oh that kill was nice well it wouldn't it uh, will not be zero in that catching beacons statistic and definitely oh rap is definitely not zero in kill statistic uh, one weapon is over so probably i will do that but because behind the guide like oh my god will i catch that living legend with mk1 robot please siren yes living legend oh this is awesome yes that was awesome i thought I'm dead when when I lost one weapon. I think it was Rampage at that time. Oh, Muromet is killing here. And without one weapon, just with two weapons, I couldn't assume that I will survive until I reach Living Legend with two weapons. Oh, that was awesome. So far, <laughs> I'm using just one Dazzler, but Ooh, Muromets is also very nice and I forgot but this Muromets is still level 3 oh my god <laughs> it doesn't look but now I can use uh, 4 onslaught reactors on him and I must say I cannot see the difference between level 150 in this level 3 when you got 25 
level for weapons. Very nice, and when you, of course, can use modules. I had to turn because I accidentally click on that EMP ability, and I didn't want to lose it. And like you can see, it works. So if you if you click that ability, and suddenly you have changed your mind, like mind like I did with that harpy, just turn your moments on the side you have like I don't know one or two seconds to do that and your ability will not be used you will still have chance to use it on somebody else and not to wait recharging unfortunately I think we are losing match we have only one beacon and that's the main problem where we are speaking about the deadliest hunger with full of sirens or harpies with this Ra Razdor or Smuta or Kramola that all banana weapons that metal weapons uh, what I was trying to say huh problem main problem is you are not a good beacon catcher with this hunger yes you will probably be first in first in your team when we are speaking about kill kill kills but now in beacon catch that's why i don't that's why i'm telling people that this is not the best hunger yes the deadliest but not the best hunger sirens and harpies are good in killing but not in catching beacons so you need to have various of robots you want to best hunger like you can see 14 kills oh i'm first in number of kills in both teams so this is a proof that this previous match wasn't coincident so is it worth it to spend 3600 goals and 30 million silver to upgrade from mk1 level 1 to mk1 level 9 yes it is definitely worth it trust me this is a big difference between robots it is a bigger difference between level 1 and level 9 mk1 than between mk1 level 9 and mk3 trust me bigger so is it worth it yes Spend your gold and <laughs> I don't believe that I'm telling you that. I don't work for Pixonic. <laughs> and evidently you don't need to upgrade for from MK1 level 9 to MK3. Definitely this is also good. And next time we will check MK3 robots and MK with MK1 level 1 weapons. So you will be able to compare all three possibility and that's it guys thank you for everything and see you next time bye bye